Wow. Oh, yeah. Mom. You like popcorn? I, I like popcorn, but I like physics more. I mean, okay. popcorn is okay, but physics is great. Oh. What do you mean? Uh, you wanna learn the physics of popcorn? What the hell? Get out of my car! Get out! Get out from here! Bring your physics! Can I take pop? Go! Go! Get out from here! Hey! Hey! You forgot your shoe! Take your shoe! Oh. Oh. Let's check out the physics of popcorn! How does popcorn actually pop? To understand how popcorn pops, we gotta use a bit of physics. All right, so here's what's really happening. There's water inside this kernel, right? So as you heat something like water, it's gonna expand. Now, as this water expands and it heats up, it turns into steam. And uh, this steam is almost imagine like a Mentos inside a Coke bottle. The Coke bottle just wants to explode outside of the pop. Well, in just the same way, the kernel just wants to explode because the steam has to find a way out. And that's exactly what happens. The kernel explodes and the popcorn pops. All right, what's our question? So how do we find how fast the popcorn is spinning in the air? Well, we gotta use conservation of energy. Here's the facts. Let's use the conservation of energy. Here's the initial and here's the final. So what do we know about each of these moments in time? Well, for our initial moment, well, we know that our potential energy is zero because the kernel is at the ground. Our kinetic energy is zero because the kernel isn't moving. And our rotational kinetic energy is, of course, zero because the popcorn isn't moving or it's not rotating. Over here, our potential energy is going to be given by mgh. Our kinetic energy is, of course, zero because the popcorn is changing directions, so its velocity is zero. And our rotational kinetic energy, well, that we don't know yet, but we do know the formula. It's of course going to be half your rotational inertia times omega squared. Omega is of course how fast your popcorn is spinning. Now by conservation of energy, we know that energy initial is equal to energy final. How can we use that to our advantage? Well, we can just set the initial sum of energies equal to the final sum. So we know that all of our energies initially are zero. On the left hand side, we're left with zero. On the right hand side, we have the final potential energy, which is given by mgh. And now all we have to do is plug in the numbers. So we're left with a final answer of 594 radians per second. That's how fast this popcorn is spinning.